then it's the grand intelligence that runs the show, is managing the entire existence, is running through these people, running through us. And so the question is like, well, what does it mean then for what? Why, why would, why are we here then? I don't have any free will and I don't have anything to say, then what's the point? Well, that is looking at it from one point of view. But when you look at it from a different angle is that this existence of this guy is an expression. It's an expression of the oneness. It's an expression of the absolute. And there's a guy was born, named Zarathustra, and he's doing whatever he's doing at whatever period of time. And this guy is an expression of life. Same as you whatever you're doing. So let's say you're a mommy or you were a mom. And when your kids were growing up, you did whatever mom would do and helping him getting educated and training him and being a mother. And that was, or that is the expression of the absolute existence is expressing itself in you as a mom and you're growing your helping your children to grow or you're a nurse or you you're an author or you are a bus driver whatever you're doing or you're a healer that's what the oneness is experiencing it's experiencing being a mom experiencing being a child experiencing being a soldier experiencing um, being a truck driver it's experiencing all these different things simultaneously being a good person, being a bad person. The good person and the bad person, they're both the same. They're the different expressions of the same oneness. Like you have a coin. This coin has two sides. You're looking at this side, you're looking at that side. Coins have two sides. So in this manifest world, in this world that is manifested, everything has its opposites. So whatever amount of goodness is in this world, equally there is evil created or vice versa. Whatever is manifested, the opposite exists too. But they're both the same. So you have one expression as, let's say, Jesus Christ, right? One expression of it. Of We're using Jesus Christ as a symbol. Okay, so don't get hang up on that. You can say Krishna or Buddha, whatever name you want to say. Uh, Mother Teresa, whatever name you want to say, an expression of supposedly goodness and love and forgiveness and compassion a saint, a sage, 
an enlightened being, a prophet, an expression of that. And then simultaneously, you're going to have an expression of the opposite of it. And let's say we're using Hitler as a symbol of darkness and evil. So existence comes and creates Christ on one side of the coin, and then Hitler is going to be on the other side of the coin. But they're both the same coin. One side has the Christ, the other side has Hitler. But they're both the same. They're no different. They're two different expressions of the same one. And for a lot of people, this is very, very difficult to digest. It's a very, very difficult concept to digest. And we can sit down and have days and days of argue, uh, discussion about it. Uh, some people may get very angry, but oneness means everything. If we say it's all one, it's all one means this oneness includes the dark and the evil, not just the good stuff, not just the goodies. All of it is a part of the oneness. That's what oneness means. So another part of the questions I received, what is our own part and responsibility? Like, okay. You cannot not be responsible if that's not in your programming. If you're a person that basically feel responsible and you get up in the morning, you go to work, you clean your place, you pay your bills, you renew your auto registration, your auto insurance, you return phone calls, messages. Um, when you have an appointment, you feel like you need to be there on time. Um, you're generally a responsible person. That has nothing to do with having free will or not. That's just your programming. And you're going to, even if you come to this understanding, let's say you come to this realization and you come to understand, wow, there is no free will. I don't have any free will. Whatever I do is a part of my program. And there is peace is coming in your life because you're not freaking out or worrying so much about things in life because you can see you're not in control of it. So you're kind of settling into that. But then question may come, well, if I don't have any free will, then... I'm not going to be responsible. Let something else does it. But you don't have a choice. So you don't have a choice not to be responsible, and you don't have a choice to be responsible. Neither of them are your doing. You're not doing either of it. That which runs you, that which operates through you, is either acting and demonstrating responsibility or not. It's not you doing it. So the more, the deeper you go into this, um, it doesn't give you a power to manipulate life. 